Hi, I'm Paris, and I'm finally ready to upgrade my wallet from this functional, as seen on TV, lock wallet to a nice, fashionable wallet. This is from a company called Core. Thank you very much to the folks there for sending me this wallet to try out. It's made out of actual leather and carbon fiber. It goes for $60, so it's a lot more upscale than some other wallets, but not to the point of being ostentatious. If you want to buy a nice Christmas gift for someone, this might be a good option. My concern is in this small wallet, though, will I be able to transfer enough of my daily life stuff to get through the day? Let's see. Core Essentials is a company that makes fashion accessories. If you've watched the channel for a while, you might remember the Trackline belt that I reviewed and I still wear every day and I'm wearing right now that I really love. They, they make good quality stuff. Now this wallet has a money clip. That's what the carbon fiber portion of it is. You can remove that if you don't want to use it. It's amazing how little it weighs because it's carbon fiber, which makes it cool. Now this is the main part of the wallet. I used an Allet for a number of years, which is similar in size, but um, not with quite as thick material. This one though provides you with RFID protection. You can put two cards in here, and then the rest of it, you say, well, where do you open it up? It's a tricky thing. Here on the end, you can actually put eight cards in here, and then to access them easily, there's this little strap, and when you pull it, the cards come out, and when you push the cards in, it pulls the strap back into place. Pretty clever. All right, it took some culling, but I got rid of over half the stuff I guess I can live without having with me all the time whenever I go out. One thing that makes it a little harder, though, is I'm the parent that will go and pick up the kids from school if they call because they got hurt or something's going on, so I need to have the doctor's phone number, the orthodontist's phone number, the dentist's phone number, the insurance cards. I have to have all of that with me pretty much all the time, so let's see if I can make that fit in addition to my ID, library card, uh, car insurance, and I suppose I need to find room for a picture of the kids. Having too much cash to fit in the money clip, however, that is not a problem. I have one $10 bill. Feels like it's holding it nice and snug. Now I could put some ID or cards here as well, but let's see what I can put in their appropriate places. So this little pocket on the outside here, I'm thinking I'm going with all the insurance and library card with that. It's supposed to fit two cards, but I'm gonna fit a few more in there, as well as picture of the girls. <laughs> this is getting to look less fashionable all the time. It fits, okay. So they should fit in this slidey thing. I'm thinking I drive a minivan, I take the kids to clubs, Girl Scouts, drop off cookies. I have no place having a fashionable wallet. I feel like I've, oh, oversized, oversized this beyond what it was intended for. Okay. So, I go into the store, I need my ATM to pay for something, some school supplies I had to buy for the kids. So this pulls them out that far. In. It's nice and compact. If I didn't have stuff sticking up out of it, it would certainly look nice and cool. Let's see how it fits in the pocket. It's easy to put in and take out of the pocket. I was a little worried about this clip, but it doesn't seem to bother. It doesn't scratch on my leg and it doesn't poke my finger grabbing the wallet out of my pocket. This Core Essentials wallet is very nice, and if you can get by with fewer cards than I seem to need, I think it might work really well for you. I imagine going to a nice restaurant and paying the bill and being able to pull out a nice wallet with a money clip and taking out the 20s and the 100s and paying would be nice. My experience of life is more like the lock wallet where I go to the fancy restaurant and I pull this out to pay and I unzip it and everybody knows I'm going to count out the 14 cents to pay in exact change. Thanks again to the people at Core Essentials for sending me this to try out. If you'd like to find out more about it, there's a link right down below this video. Maybe I'm just not at a point in my life yet where I'm ready for fancy. I spent too many years carrying around the diaper bag filled with 
baggies of Cheerios and extra changes of clothes and toys and books and all of that. So I can't yet get my life down to where it would fit in this wallet, but maybe in a few more years. You can keep checking back for our future reviews, fashionable and unfashionable, or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Yeah.